Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here, this is Jason and welcome to Minecraft 1.18, that is right, there is a mountain behind me and this glorious terrain right here, I absolutely love it and I am very excited to be back in Minecraft and in the new Minecraft 1.18, now I know that Minecraft 1.18 has been out for some time, but we're now in Minecraft 1.18.1, which has some bug fixes and improvements. But yeah, um, I have been busy the last uh, couple of weeks or so, or almost a month actually. But um, I'm hoping to do some videos before Christmas, and I'm hoping to do some videos in the new year. But... As I said, I'm in Minecraft 1.18.1 and I'm on the Java edition. And within this video, I'm going to be showing you Minecraft ores. That is right. So basically showing you how to find all of the ores in Minecraft 1.18 because it has changed in Minecraft 1.18 compared to other versions of the game. This should also help you if you're in Bedrock because I believe the ore distribution is exactly the same. But if you want to see more content like this, so, you know, tutorials, redstone, all kinds of different content, or even command block tutorials, then be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss anything. Now, the first ore on the list is coal. So coal is obviously one of the first ores that you ever pick up, pretty much. And it's used for fuel, torches, all sorts of different things. And this is the most common ore. It's a very common ore and is found all over the place. Now, you might notice here that I'm saying that you can find the ore between zero and 320, that is right. So one massive change in Minecraft 1.18 is that the height limit has been changed to 320 as a level, and the, the, like the minimum depth level, or the minimum level of the world, is now minus 64 instead of zero. So bear that in mind when we're going over these ores. But as I was saying, it's very, very common, and it's between zero and 320, but you will not find any coal below zero. So bear that in mind when you're looking, but it is found mostly on level 95 and 136. I believe for coal, if you find coal higher up in the world, I believe it's more consistent, but if you look, find it lower down, I think it like you find it more commonly on a certain level and then the amount kind of like reduces as you go away from that level. So bear that in mind when you're looking for coal. Now the next one is copper. So obviously you can uh, mine copper in order to get raw copper and smelt it in order to get copper ingots. But uh, copper is a fairly common ore and it's only recently in this version of the game when it's been, been given a proper ore distribution. And you find it between level minus 16 and 112 and you find it mostly at level 48. But another thing to bear in mind is that you, it's easier to find in dripstone caves. So if you find a dripstone cave when you're exploring underground, copper should be more plentiful in those areas. Now, similarly to coal, around level 48, if you go away from that level, the copper starts to reduce. So from what I understand, you find it mostly at level 48. All right, the next ore is iron. Now you use this in many different recipes or even to actually get iron tools, which are very important for getting other ores as well. And you can use it in a, a bunch of different crafting recipes, but when you mine it, you get raw iron and then you can smelt it to get iron ingots. Now, iron is an interesting one because it's literally all over the place and um, it's not as cop it's not as like common as coal, but you can find it between levels minus 64 and 72 and 80 and 320. So there's like a weird pocket between 73 and 79 where you do not find any iron whatsoever, which is very strange. And basically iron is found mostly between levels 15 to 232. So you can actually find it in quite a big range and it's fairly common to find. So 
these three ores right here, so copper, coal, and iron, you will not have any issues finding because they are fairly common to find. All right, everyone, the next ore is gold. So gold is used in lots of other different crafting recipes like iron, and you basically mine up uh, gold in order to get raw gold, and then you can smelt it in order to get gold ingots. And it's a fairly rare ore. So you find it in the normal case between levels minus 64 and 32, and you find it mostly on level minus 16. So you do find it deeper than all of the other ores previously. And there is, however, one other case. You can find gold in a very, it's basically very common in Badlands biomes. So if you're in a Badlands biome, then the gold becomes very plentiful. And basically, if you're in a Badlands biome, you can find it between levels minus 64 and 256. So you can see that the range increases dramatically. And in that case, you do find it mostly between 32 and 256 when in a Badlands biome. All right, the next ore is lapis lazuli, or just known as lapis. If you actually mine the lapis ore, you actually get these lapis pieces right here. And this is a fairly uncommon ore, but not as rare as gold in the normal case. Um, but it's found between minus 64 and 64, and found mostly at minus one. So bear that in mind with the ores themselves, that these ores in particular, that you can only find them deep down in the world. And obviously these can be used for enchanting and as a dye. All right, the next ore we've got here is redstone. So redstone is for circuitry and powered systems and all that cool stuff. And when you mine the redstone ore, you get redstone dust like this. And this is a fairly uncommon ore and it's basically found between minus 64 and 16. So it's rarer than lapis and it's found mostly at minus 59. So it's found mostly right at the bottom of the world. So it's actually more common to, found red, to find redstone in deep slate uh, because you find it so deep down in the world. It's important to note that as you can see here, there are two types of ore. You've got the standard ore, which is in stone, or you've got ore that's in deep slate. And basically, if you find ore further down in the world, more likely in the negative region, then you could find the ore actually generated in deep slate instead. Now, the next ore is, of course, diamond. So diamond is the top tier in terms of actually finding stuff in the overworld or in your standard Minecraft world. The only thing that's better than diamond is neverite, which you obviously find in the never. But diamond is pretty rare. It doesn't spawn very often at all. And it actually spawns much further down than usual. And it's minus 64 to 16, so it's exactly the same as redstone, in fact, and found mostly at minus 59. Now, another very noticeable thing about diamond is that diamond always spawns inside rock. It'll be very rare to find diamond exposed to the air, so bear that in mind that you will have to go digging for diamond in order to find it. And of course, if you mine up the ore, then you get a very awesome diamond gem as a reward. All right, everyone, we've now got the last ore in the collection, and that is, of course, emerald. So emerald used to be very, very rare, but it's now been made uncommon, and it's not as rare as it used to be. But um, that's simply because the, the, like the depth limit and the height limit has been increased. But you can only find emeralds in mountain biomes. And when you're in a mountain biome, you can find them between minus 16 and 320. So all the way to the top of a mountain, you can actually find them. Uh, and it's found mostly at 236. So the higher you go up, pretty much the more likely you're going to find this ore. And you of course need emerald in order to do like trading and stuff if you want to do that. 
uh, it is a, a way to get emeralds without, without actually trading items with villagers in a village. All right, everyone, I've got some additional facts about these ores as well. And the first thing is about copper and iron. The one thing that's different about these two compared to the others is that you can actually find large veins of these two in varying levels of the world. Now, if you look below level 48, and if you look below level zero or so for copper and iron, you're more likely to find large veins of them when you actually go mining. So be sure to take that into account. Another additional thing is about lapis, diamond, gold, and coal. So another thing that's interesting about these ores is that when they do generate in parts of the world, they're unlikely to be exposed to the air. Now, I touched on this briefly about diamond, but it does apply to coal, gold, and lapis as well. So basically for these ores, um, in varying levels of the world, you will actually have to mine into the stone in order to find them. And they're less likely to be exposed to the air or showing, you know, if you walk into a, basically a cave entrance or a ravine or some other area in the world, these ores are less likely to be exposed in the rock when you actually go into an area. So bear that in mind as well. Whew, we actually got through that okay. <laughs> Lots of different changes with Minecraft ores within Minecraft 1.18 and Minecraft 1.18.1. And I'm hoping you found this video useful and that it actually helped you find all the ores that you want to find. And maybe you've just not been able to find a lot of a particular ore. And hopefully these details can actually help you. Now, I will actually provide a link in the description of the video of a little diagram that shows you the distribution in like a graphical way so that you can reference it in the future. Or some of you might just be visual learners and find it easier to look at a diagram rather than some Iron Man telling you <laughs> all the ore details. But uh, yeah, um, if you did enjoy this video, then a like on the video would be very much appreciated. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, then my Twitter is in the description or you can follow the Twitter on screen right now. So that's at Draki Series on Twitter. And if you want to see more content like this, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss anything and so that you do not miss on any updates from the channel. Please click the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. I will see you in the next video. Have fun finding these ores and stay tuned for more content. Content, everyone. I'll see you next time.